Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. This is madness. C complete insanity, honestly is. And I guess I am disappointed, I guess that's the best way to put it. And I suppose consider considering the subject matter of this video, uh, I would imagine, you, you would imagine me to be disappointed in the, the, the chicken for some reason, right? That the chicken, for whatever reason, did me wrong. But it wasn't that. I reviewed these chicken tenders about, I don't know, nine months ago, October of 2017. And back then they were a new release, you know? Everyone was talking about them. They were the talk of the town. You would, you would just drive around everyone. They dropped their smartphones and instead they were just using chicken tenders instead. It was nuts. And then it suddenly faded away. And for whatever reason, I don't, I don't really know why, sometimes you get an item that's like this, where they permanently bring it to the menu, but it's like after a couple of weeks you forgot that they even had it. So, you know, just a couple of days ago I, I was suddenly reading around and I found out that for some reason people were talking about the chicken tenders from Wendy's again. And I thought, I thought at first that these were, these were new items. I didn't even remember that I reviewed these. I think a lot of people just forgot about them. But anyway, they have them, they've always had them. And I have no problem retrying something. You know, sometimes it's good to just try it with a, a different palette, a different mindset. See if the product has changed any, because they certainly do at times. But that's not why I was disappointed. What absolutely crushed my spirits today I didn't even realize this, but nine months ago, they released the chicken tenders with a special glorified sauce that they called the Strawson sauce. And I, I watched the old video. I was, I was sitting there complaining because I, I they didn't have actually they didn't have the Strawson sauce this time around. And what do I forget? Yeah, the same sauce. It's too good, I tell you. It's, it's just too good to be true, but it is. Here I was, sitting there. Nine months ago, talking about this sauce. Go to, go to re-review it. What do I forget? I forget the stupid sauce. Uh, but there you go, it's too good. Too good. What can you do, right? Just one of those things at this point, instead of even getting upset about it, you just laugh at it. Because what more can you do? I mean, they just closed anyway. I can't even go over there and get it back. So this is what we got. It's too good. But yeah, they're chicken tenders. It's one of those items, I think, that everyone forgot about it. It's like, you know, one of that old sock that you're always looking for, right? Well, that's not a really good comparison because these aren't old socks. They're not even really big enough for most of us to wear on our feet. Though I imagine a... I don't know. Maybe if you really had a lot of money to blow, you can carve it out, hollow it out, and you could maybe slip some of the breading or something on your foot and maybe make them like a little... I don't know. Chicken tender footwear. But anyway, here they are. They come in a three-piece, a four-piece, and a six-piece. And I want to get that really good shot of them there for the camera. Mm -hmm, there they are. There are three of them. I believe that's three. One. There's the second one. Three. Three in total. But yeah, we're going to try these out. These are what they are. You know, they're lightly breaded. They're, they're mildly, mildly breaded. You know, you could definitely see that when I replace this with my head... Usually it focuses, but it isn't. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, that's what it looks like. That's a better view of it. You can see it's mildly breaded. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's it has some firmness, but it flops around a little bit, you know. Anyway, before we get on with the review, because otherwise that's all there is to it. They're just breaded, they're seasoned, and uh, it's just something that Wendy's likes to, you know, to... It's something that they like to promote every so often, I imagine, because everyone likes the chicken tenders, right? Everyone loves the chicken tenders. And hopefully this will be better than the ones from Sonic that I did a couple couple videos back. But before we get into that, uh, just one quick thing. I want to give a shout-out to Gregory Martin 
and Vivian in North Carolina. The two of them, they support this channel and the radio broadcast on the Patreon. I have a tier on there. It's called 15 Minutes of, of Fame tier. Both of them, they donate $110 per month. And really, as a token of gratitude for their support, I just give them a little shout-out each and every month. If you want to uh, join them, you can have your name or your channel shouted out. Uh, you know, it's a, just a good way to help the channel, this broadcast stay on the air. It's going through a tough time. And, uh, you know, just a great way to do that and get, get acknowledged to the masses, too. All right, you can find that out at patreon.com slash week. That's patreon.com slash week. Onto the good stuff. Let's, uh, let's sink our... Sink whatever teeth I have left in my mouth into this morsel. So let's go for it. The, uh, the chicken tenders from Wendy's going in. Unforgivable. You know what the cherry on top is? Well, I guess it is a cherry on top. Because that's... I already said what it is. It's a cherry on top. But the real thing that got me... I also... Even though I forgot to get the sauce, some sauce, I decided to get it with some good old barbecue sauce. Right? Everyone's favorite. And, uh, what isn't there? The barbecue sauce. Oh, well. The chicken tenders aren't, there's, there's not too much to say about them. Again, as I said, I always like re-reviewing items. Like, I, 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 some people think that I have some crazy policy, uh, where, you know, I wouldn't dare review another item if I've already reviewed it, but there's nothing wrong with that. Again, I think, myself, like many other people, we forget about stuff. I mean, we forget items. Like, I, again, I didn't even know they had these, uh, these chicken tenders until a couple days ago. I forgot. How are they? Well, they're all right for what they are. My issue with these, and I haven't really had these for too long, you know, Wendy's closed pretty recently because it's, again, it's the, the night middle, as they call it, and it's around 1 a.m., and they, they closed a couple minutes ago. And, you know, they're, they're not the, the freshest in the world, but they still have some heat, they still have some flavor there. The chicken itself still has some juiciness to it, still has some of that, just, you know, meaty flavor to it. Um, the breading, the one thing that I wish I could taste a little bit more of, and this doesn't even come down to a matter of, of uh, sauce or otherwise, where you have some items, you know, what I always consider to be a really good chicken nugget, chicken strips, whatever vernacular you, you wish to, uh, to, to choose, if you wish to use, I should say not choose, choose to use, I suppose. 
I my my favorite ones are always the the ones that do not need sauce. That they look well breaded, well seasoned, and guess what? You can taste that seasoning too. That's the best ones right there. And these, I mean, you could see, like like right here, you can see the little bit of you know seasoning that's on this thing. You can see it anyway. No matter what, you can see it. It's it's there. I wish I could taste that better. That's my only complaint with it. Otherwise, it's not too chewy, not too firm. You know, it, it does have a little bit of structural integrity, which is always a good thing. You can definitely taste it. It's so flavorful. I just wish you could taste a little bit of that breading more, and uh, then I think they would really be onto something. So, Wendy's, if you ever do decide to tweak around the recipe for the uh, the chicken tenders, I wish, you know, whatever spices or, or little seasonings or flavors you add in your breading for the, uh, the, the chicken tenders here, I wish it was just a little more pronounced, a little more flavorful, because with that added, yeah, it's always good to dip it in any sort of sauce. Barbecue sauce, shawsam sauce, that weird sauce that you brewed up in the bathtub last night, or whatever. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you know, that's so stupid. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, it's just one of those things where, yeah, the sauce would be a great accompaniment, but I just wish it could hold its own better, too. That said, out of 10, the price for these was $3.78. $3, you know, one for each chicken tender, and then the 78 cents they tacked on to just goof around. Out of 10, I'm going to give it an 8.2 out of 10. Gave the last incarnation an 8.6 out of 10. Uh, these, again, I just wish you could taste a little bit more of the breading. That's why I gave it an 8.2. But again, I think everyone likes chicken tenders. They're not ungodly expensive. And uh, you, should, you, you could check them out, you know, try them out. They're pretty portable, they're not messy, get them as a little snack, and get them with sauce, too. My, uh, my, my recommendation to you all. Alright, with that being said, uh, today's Thursday, please listen in to the VORW radio show. I know there's a bunch of, bunch of you watching that have one of these, a shortwave radio. Fire it up, break it out today, listen on the shortwave. This is an important show, I'm going to have a number of announcements in it that I really need you to tune in on if you follow the show. Uh, so check it out on air, on your phone, on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash VORW underscore radio underscore INT, or on TuneIn. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and if we ever review these things again, I'm not going to leave the place until I, I get that sauce. All right, that's going to be do or die, and uh, I'm not going to exit that, that place until I get that sauce sauce, or buffalo, or ranch, or mustard, or barbecue, or anything in between. Thank you for watching and take care. I'll see you again in a couple days with another video.